Hello, Grace. Hey, <laughs> how are you doing? Woo, woo, going live, doing good. What's going on? What did you just pop out into the internet sphere? What is going on? What is the Dominique Medici Art Academy? Because this is like super exciting and folks might not even have seen what's going on yet. So what is it? What's, what have you been working on the past couple of months? A couple of years ago. I was in Central Park painting, doing a plein air, minding my own business, having a great time, right? And then this, this young, like, you know, young kid comes over, he takes a look at my painting, and he, he kind of, his mouth drops a little bit. And he said, yeah, he said, ma'am, that's really, really beautiful. It's amazing. And I said, oh, thank you so much for saying that. He must have been like 12 years old. And I was like, Dave, where are you from? And then he's like, I'm from Texas. And then I said, you know, do you like to do art at school yourself? And then he said, no, ma'am, they, they cut the art program. And I said, you don't have art anymore? And he said, no, no, we don't. And the look in his eye in that moment was like, it broke my effing heart. Shot to the heart. Seriously. That's, and that's horrible. There, in that, I knew, I, I, like, I knew, like, okay, that, that, what he said, that's joining my life kind of mission statement. Like, it's got to be, I got to respond to that. I can't not look at that. Mm -hmm. So I didn't know what it was I would do, but, but recently, right? Um, like, it's kind of crazy. So COVID kind of just landed on all of us. And I think, right, Grace, probably for you and probably a lot of you guys watching, we, especially fellow artists, we went from having work kind of lined up, you know, we usually line things up for months in advance. We went from looking like a good summer, good spring, really like plans, travel plans all sorted. In like just a few days, everything was gone. For sure. And there was this big hole and it's just like, so I realized like in that moment, like there's, I could, kind of like go into that slightly darker, scary place, or I could just grab that thing by the, you know what I'm saying? And just, yeah. I started reflecting on, on kind of like my life and just thinking how amazing it's been so far <clears throat> and how grateful I am for all these crazy opportunities. Like I studied in, in London, you know, at, right after high school, I went to London, did an atelier training in freaking Europe, this little bratty kid. And, right? And it's like, that was such a rich experience. And I met so many amazing people, traveled all around. And anyway, all that stuff, we, we, we start, we get these impressions. And it just feels like the right thing to do with it is to share it back with everyone else. Like, especially in this moment where life's kind of crazy. And I feel like we also need this counterpoint to all the intense things that are happening. We need something softer and slower, mm. something we can sink into. Mm -hmm. that, that's a big part of the story. I love that. Big, big part. Of the I've story. never heard this origin story of this 12 year old kid from Texas. I know. That breaks exactly. up heart. And moments like that are so powerful. Like I know <laughs> plein air painting, you always encounter people like this. And sometimes it's just a, hey, how's it going? But sometimes it's people who, yeah. You know, you change your you, life. Yeah. Yeah, it changes your life. And um, like you said, it puts things in perspective and you realize how lucky you are to be doing what you are doing, even though it has been a real struggle um, with COVID, right? So, one of the most amazing things I think about this project is it is all of the spirit of giving and generosity, which is an amazing, amazing counterpoint. So, <laughs> everything that's happening right now. So fast forward to today and you drop this intro video yeah. for the Dominique Medici Art Academy. Yeah. So that's your inspiration, right? You came at this wanting to what? Give folks a place where they can slow down. Totally. And yeah put your training to use, yeah. and expand accessibility. So what is it? Like, how do people access it? How does it all 
work. Yeah. You want to talk about that? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. Dominique Linda Art Academy. What is it? It's so it's an online, like self-paced art school that's just kind of free. Uh, most of it it's is free. It's free, not kind of free. free. <laughs> yeah. Right. So the YouTube component is free. Basically, the idea is to take. Okay. So there's another point that I have to insert here, which is like, I was also thinking about all of my friends, right? They'll all say the same thing to me. I'm so jealous because you do what you want to do every day. And then I say, I'm really jealous because you have a really nice 401k and a house <laughs> and health yeah. insurance. So you know what? I wouldn't mind trading shoes if we just split everything up like that, you know? So. Uh, so I do appreciate that it is a crazy awesome gift to be an artist and to be a, an artist that can, can, can make it. Mm -hmm. At the same time, um, we don't all get a chance to do that. And so the ones that of us that do do it, it feels like the right thing to do is to share that with the folks that can't. Mm -hmm. So I realized that the, the, what I needed to do was really distill everything down. Like that was my job. Mm -hmm. totally distill it into the most important essential concepts to kind of share and then teach those systematically throughout the year. So literally from zero, no skills, not even like being able to walk in a straight line. Well, maybe, maybe you would have you to. You can't walk. walk in a straight line. You have to actually, that is a kind of a prerequisite. How many beers have you had before this life? <laughs> <laughs> maybe just, maybe just one. Everything that you're saying just, it's, it rings so true for this time that we're in, right? Yeah. So people needing to have stability, right? And keep their jobs. Not everybody can give up everything and work as an artist. So how does that actually work, right? For someone who would sign up, how does the program can yeah. kind of work out? Like what yeah. would what the folks expect? Yeah, absolutely. So on Monday morning at 9 a.m., there will be an episode on YouTube. It's a 20 minute lesson and it talks about some particular idea. You watch it and then you do that exercise yourself either during the program and you can just pause it at intervals and that, or you can do it after, but it's short enough that you, you could definitely squeeze it into the schedule. Like that's kind of the idea is generous as I want to be, you know, I have to support myself. The thing that I've been thinking about lately is, if, if I really do this properly, then I, should, I will be training people um, to put me out of business, right? Like that's my goal, is to train people to be so much better than me, so much more skillful, so much better teachers and artists, that I get put out of business. So I realized that since that's my goal, I also have to make money so that I can support myself and retire to some nice island somewhere and just paint because that's all I really want to do anyway. And the way that that works is once a month, those lessons in that month are all tied together into a nice little project at the end of the month uh, as a weekend workshop. It's a way we can work together a little more in depth, take each of those lessons much, much deeper. Also in the process, you know, it supports itself so that I can continue making those, um, making those videos. Right. Yeah, so you're making the videos like at your own expense, right? Totally. 100%. This is like, this is free on YouTube right now. It's free. Like, yeah. You can go watch the intro right now. And then when are you watch, dropping the first video? When's first the first video drops on Monday. <laughs> Boom. Um, yeah. And I just, I feel like it's worth it to point out that, I mean, teaching, you've been teaching for so long and I started teaching a few years ago. It is like such a selfless endeavor in some ways. Mm. And I feel like this is like the next iteration of that. Like I, I'm super painfully aware of how short life is just full stop, right? And how meaningful every moment is. And um, the thing that just like, I wake up in the middle of the night all the time thinking I have to really live properly like it's so it's the weirdest thing it's the, that's my version of like a nightmare is i wake up and i think i have to live fully it's totally bizarre but the biggest part of that is about um 
I know that at the, at, the, at the end of the day, the thing that will make me happiest is this feeling of contributing something and yeah. making the world a slightly better place. That is like, I think it's at the absolute core of like my person. And I'm so aware that it's like um, all the other stuff is just a substitute for living life fully, um, sharing with others and creating something truly beautiful. Mm. right like as a legacy that's the only thing i care about and like you know and i i mean of course i want to live well i want to be healthy and all that stuff but mm -hmm. it's the contribution that feeling of contribution mm -hmm. and my fear is that you know it can it can so easily get lost or overlooked in a super hyped up life mm. and when i look at youtube and i see the things that are suggested to me it's always like it's such a big ego show. And when I realize it's like, it's so hollow. And at the heart of it, it's like, what is it really to be human? What is it to really be truly alive? And it's, it's about appreciation, about sharing, and about making life as fucking brilliant as it can be for all of us, right? Give some parts on that one. Oh my God. And if we mm -hmm. do that, it's like, that changes things. That changes it for everybody, you know? And if it's smaller, if it's just self-serving or small and serving certain small groups, then there's tons of exclusion and it's like, what, what good is that? So this, is, I think this is the, at the core also of art is that every good art principle is a life principle ultimately. Yeah. I love everything you're saying. And I also think that it gets to like this core of what art is and yeah. How do you see maybe the mission of the Academy reflecting you know, what art really means to you in the world today. Right. Yeah, good point. That's a great point. So for me, I think it's uh, observation-based and it's like like really just simple skills. So connecting to our observation, getting comfortable with that kind of eye-hand coordination, drawing what we see. I think realism, there's something about realism that is very grounding and it really calms us down, right? Yes. It, it gives us a sense of center. It's like, this is a crazy thought when you think about it, right? So one of the concepts we learned right in the beginning is this concept of proportion, right? And if you set a proportion, it's just two points. So a boundary at the bottom, a boundary at the top. And what happens when you have two points? When you have boundaries, you have a center. Mm -hmm. Think about that, right? Yeah. And drawing what you see, yeah. not what you think you see. Yeah. Not um, making judgments or prejudgments about yeah, what you see. Right. That kind of lesson is so relevant for so relevant. The moment. Not spinning it to right. something, not leveraging it mm -hmm. just as it is. Mm -hmm. And I think what that does is that gives us a really solid anchoring in ourselves. Like that's what art did for me. I was this messed up teenager, for sure. All sorts of things. We all were. We all were. Right? The hot mess. And it really had this way of, of channeling me in mm. and giving me a sense of center that I can be at peace with and then look out from. And I think that that is really what distinguishes this program is that because of who you are, such an intentional person in your actions and what you do, I feel like that's what distinguishes the project. Yeah, for sure. So, and this key about accessibility, right? Mm. So folks who are working full time, who have families, um, who can't give everything up, right? That's really yeah. cool. That's so if people are wanting to sign up, um, or rather, so we have these free videos, right? So can you yeah. talk about more, how does that work over the entire year? Like what the whole journey kind of look like? Ooh. Oh, I like you that. Can, you can start by just watching the videos, right? Yeah. Like one off videos. Totally. But yeah. if folks are really wanting to invest a little bit in it, how does that work? Totally, yeah. So the idea is like year one is just drawing. And it starts from zero, and if by the end, it should just, you should be pretty competent with drawing. Like, that's not a promise, but it's, it's I'm, 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 that's my goal. That's my goal. Um, and the lessons will certainly go through that whole progression. Um, 
And again, like Grace was saying, like these are just going to be on YouTube for free for, you know, working professionals to watch. And also that kid in Texas, he could literally watch those and get a good education. So that's going to be happening. And it's like, it just builds on itself month after month. Um, if, and if, if this thing is successful, if people like it, I mean, I think it, it feels like it should be very successful. Um, but yes, everyone go so now, if you have not seen the intro, go watch the intro right now. Yeah. I cannot tell you, I, again, I'm here in the same building with Dominique in Seattle. My studio is right around the corner from hers. I am witness to the daily work ethic of this person, okay? And I have been shushed out of the studio many a days a week while the filming has been happening. We have been having brainstorm sessions weekly. I mean, this is like a serious undertaking. Yeah, it's so true. And it just comes from that amazing place, right? It's all gonna be on free on YouTube. Like that's insane. It is kind of insane. <laughs> the amount of work that has gone into it yeah. is admirable. Um, and it's just like an amazing, it's going to be an amazing curriculum. Yeah. It's absurd. <laughs> it's totally absurd. But I'm literally paying an editor with the little money that I have to do this. And like Grace has been incredibly gracious to sit with me. And then we go over all the concepts for all the episodes. It's so stupid. Yeah. Like who does that? But I think that's what makes it so special. And you know, uh, it, yeah. it kind of, it, there's something intoxicating about being selfless and not stupid selfless, like smart selfless, where you know that ultimately what you're doing is feeding yourself mm -hmm. in, with the best food you possibly can, which is care, appreciation, and like, um, like there's something in me that knows that that is the most nourishing thing that I could ever do. And while it's serving others, it's, it's ultimately purifying like my kind of my own heart. Right. So that's kind of like a, um, but yeah, it's like a phenomenal amount of time. Yes. And so one of the ways that this, the, it's going to offset that is the monthly workshop. And I was thinking like, it, I felt like it had to be a price point that one made sense that also funds the whole operation. Mm -hmm. Um, and then allows me to, um, like I work, Grace knows, like I work 12 hours a day, every single day, Monday through Sunday. It's like every single day. Um, and then what I need to do is work less because if I work less, then I can focus more on making it even better. Mm -hmm. And so my goal is to only teach this ultimately, um, but I know that I first have to get it working, get it to scale, right? So anyway, it's very reasonable. It's like 175 and once a month, right? It's just once a month. So you can count that up, like how much a year would cost mm -hmm. and compare that to any other like art school, how much an atelier program would cost. So the, in total, every month, seven or eight YouTube lessons, mini lessons drop yeah. for free, those, build on a concept over the course of each month. Yeah, exactly. And then for folks who are following along with those in their own time, there is an option to sign up for these workshops, which honestly, if you're keeping up with the lessons, it makes sense to me that, you know, you'd want to balance that out with getting critiques yeah. from you and digging a little bit deeper into yeah. um, Exactly. you know, practicing alongside a mentor. So yeah, 175, I mean, that's an amazing, that's really It's great. real, it's very, it's, it's, cool. yeah, no, nothing's yeah. really that cheap. So those all happen to like towards the end of every month and the workshops that are paid. Every month will be filmed. Every workshop is filmed, right? It'll be sold as, a, as an instructional. And then you can watch that. It's a great balance, right? If the lessons, I mean, to pare down and distill the foundations of drawing into multiple 20 minute lessons, that's right. an incredible thing to do. Um, and it's great to have access to that. 
on your own time, but then to really get into it, I love this idea of pairing it on the weekend. So folks can stick through it for the entire year, hopefully. That's the hope, right? Yeah, so yeah. Month, right, month one, it just starts with drawing a simple circle, right? Just a simple circle. So it's very, and any of us could take that first lesson. Art isn't something we're born with, it's something we practice. So it's very accessible. So it, all you need is like paper and pencil at home. Literally. Like, that is like how accessible it is. Um, and it's like a great time to be doing that. If you are the type of person who, maybe you are really, really busy right now. I feel like everyone I talk to, either they're unemployed or they're working 80 hours a week. <laughs> totally. Um, but it's just like that simple, like paper and pencil and taking 20 minutes, half an hour to just draw right now. I mean, that's like a gift. That is such a gift. So along with the uh, live workshops, we have a question from BNYK. Is the live workshop the only avenue to get critique on work? No, so that's, that's, a, good, that's a good point. Uh, so I currently also teach advanced classes. I have a Wednesday class that, I, that I've been teaching for many years. And I also have private students. And so anyone at any point can go on my website, nominatemedici.com, and book a critique or a private lesson whenever you want. There's integrated scheduling software so you can see my availability. And just with a simple click, it all is automated. You're sent Zoom links, all that sort of thing. So it's very easy to engage with me whenever you are available and whenever you have time. Uh, I think you dropped a little taste of the first lesson, which is one of my favorite things I've seen on the internet in the past few weeks. A little bit of magic. That's right. Um, so watch out for the next uh, Bob Ross, guys. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> oh, I'm so excited. They're really just fun to watch, um, even if you're a beginner, or even if you're advanced, they're just so fun to watch. That's the goal. One more thing I wanted to ask you before we kind of get into like, you know, how would folks sign up is, right. you mentioned really early on just a bit about your training mm. and your background. So right. I'm really curious about, you know, how does your um, vision or your curriculum for the academy echo your own background um, and how did you actually think about compiling you know all of your experience mm -hmm. right because you're distilling these videos to almost like little beautiful bite-sized lessons Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. so how does it echo your background and Ooh. how do you right distill all yeah, of that yeah. that is a great question cool. yeah That's a great question i love that uh yeah, so it's interesting. You know, my background, I had this atelier training in London, straight out of high school. And it was, uh, it was the only course that I knew of that, tr that was teaching. I, you know, I grew up in upstate New York, I'm just a kid in the, in the, in the, in the, in the uh, countryside, a country kid, you know. <laughs> and uh, uh, yeah, so I like didn't know, I didn't know anything. I'd never been to a museum even. Surprise. Well, that's not true. I went to one museum once. So I didn't have much experience. I found out about this course in London that was teaching these traditional skills. This was 95. So this is a while ago. I, I was a wee babe. Oh my God. Now it's old. That's terrible. No, remember, you look so young. We had a comment that you we did. Young, yeah, so. we have proof. We have proof, everyone. So it was a three year, like a three year kind of traditional arts course. And it focused on drawing painting and sculpting. Initially, I wanted to go into sculpting, actually. Uh, but oh, really? Yeah, I loved it. I still love it. It's just yeah. the problem is one sculpture takes up a lot of space. Yeah. Whereas paintings, you know, they take up very little space. So for <laughs> practical reasons, I went into painting. <laughs> um, but we did oil painting and egg template painting. So, mm. uh, and the oil painting was largely direct painting. And the egg tempera, of course, is very indirect. So totally two super different styles. I think that fits my personality. And you started awesome. with drawing as well. And that's for right. atelier training, right? This kind of... True. Uh, 
19th century training, right? We all start with drawing. I'm so jealous that you also did egg tempera. And so, oh my God. So awesome. So crazy. <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's right. What you were saying is exactly right. So year one was drawing, like all sorts of drawing. We didn't touch color. We didn't touch a paintbrush. Pure drawing for the full year. We it's were amazing how many people skip over that. I mean, I just feel like this is such, it's just incredible. Um, yeah. It's so worth it. So I know what, how do folks like sign up? So you can watch all the free videos, like yeah. what, how do people actually find this and do it? Totally. Yeah. So again, it's the same place. So my workshops the, for the Dominic Benici Art Academy are located in the same place as Dominic Benici Studio. And they're all in one list, one calendar list, so you can see everything that's happening. And that's dominicmedici.com. Um, and then you'll see under workshops and classes. It's just very easy to sign up. And again, when you do the, it's all automated. It's, it's, that's one of the COVID, that was my COVID project, was automating my website so that the Zoom links get sent out automatically. We also use Slack so that uh, we can chat with each other and also share progress of our work. Mm -hmm. And there's private, um, you can also do private critiques through, through Slack and Zoom. Part of what's been fun um, brainstorming some of this with you is just like looking at old like books and like pulling all these resources together, like how you're distilling kind of your education too, but yeah. everyone knows like when you actually have to go and teach something, right? That's when you really learn it. Um, and you have been teaching for a long time, but was this a project that forced you to kind of dig even deeper? Like how did you- Oh yeah. Yeah. How for, sure. That? for sure, because I'm so, I, like in the past five years or so, I'm so used to teaching adults and teaching more intermediate to advanced. And I love that, right? But I'm so aware of, you know, the beginning stages not being kind of covered enough, I think. And also the joy that there is in the beginning. So that's right. And also having a good, good beginning. Yes. Like I love that idea of teaching people the way that I would have loved to have been taught. It's been, but yes, it has been challenging because you would think that like even drawing a circle is super easy, but when you're trying to teach how to draw a circle and you put yourself in the mind of a, a, a beginner and right, any good teacher does that, right? You meet your student where they are, you mm -hmm. put yourself in, the, in their shoes. And I was, I, I found in that first episode, it was a challenge. Like it was a struggle to, how do we explain the concept of a curve? and about mirroring the curve across the um, midpoint. I think it's been super fun just thinking about that stuff, conceptualizing how a simple thing like a circle grows into a still life. And so I, I really should share one other point of the inspiration for this whole thing. And it was the very first day of my atelier. Ooh, something very happened. Fun. Something very special happened that day. I remember it so vividly. Again, one of those moments that seared into my mind. So there were just four or five of us in this program and we sat down, we sat down, the director came in, big guy, very, very wonderful, big, generous person. He sat down. <laughs> we won't name names, but he was generous. <laughs> oh, just, like a like a Santa Claus, right? Like Santa, uh, like Art Santa. Art Santa, yeah. And he said something that just like floored me. He said, "You know, welcome to the atelier, and uh, our course has three purposes, three goals in mind. One, and he was just like looking at all of us, very like, and he was like, one." You will master your subject. Two, Whoa. you'll master. You're, you are here to master yourself. And three, you're here to have a glorious vision for the future. 
Wow. It's like, who the hell talks like that? <laughs> right? So, I mean, now this yeah. really explains oh, totally. all of our conversations, because that's how oh. you talk. <laughs> <laughs> that's really funny. That's really funny. But you know what's interesting? I didn't realize that he passed away a couple of years ago, like two mm -hmm. years ago now. And I was so gutted, I didn't get a chance to say thank you. Because I think of all the people in my life, he had the most impact of anyone. And uh, yeah, I wanted to tell him just how much he changed my life. And what's interesting, I realized recently, just recently, is that he seeded these ideas in us. He was a gardener. He was seeding ideas. He literally actually ran a massive garden in Oxford. Like that was, he was like the, uh, so he was, he was gardening and we were, we were the plants. Mm -hmm. I only realized that now because, um, because it's, it's bearing that fruit in the sense that it's, it's sprouting in me. And it's funny because this is also, again, it's the same idea of like, it's, it's an, it's an art principle. We're painting and drawing when we're, especially when we're learning, we don't focus on the result, we focus on the process, right? And the focusing on the process has a way of making us grow as people internally. But the, 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 um, the result is, it becomes something. There is a, a fruit that comes from that, right? And that's, that's the thing that kind of blows me away about this whole thing is we become better people in the process we become more skillful, more competent, more centered, more compassionate, more caring. And, you know, we also become great artists. I think that resonates with so many people. Um, yeah. Slowing down the process of learning any new skill, but especially drawing from observation, yes. is really a meditative process. Meditative um, process. Yeah. Very grounding amidst, you know, the news cycle in the world, and that's just beautiful. Yeah. Developing patience in the garden of art. And I think your gift, right, of how to really savor time, that mm -hmm. translates into these videos and into your workshops. Like, yeah. that, you know, I love that. That's who you are. Yeah, no, totally. Um, so folks can find up on your website. Free YouTube videos are dropping starting Sunday. Little yeah. nuggets, little gold nuggets. Little nuggets, little nuggets. Hand slicing <laughs> more souls um, for free. And for folks who want to dig deeper and really want your expertise and your feedback on their work, they can join um, the paid workshops monthly Yeah. starting this month in October. Tomorrow's October 1st. So how can folks sign up? And is there anything else you want to let us know before we need to sign up? Yeah, yeah. You can sign up at dominicmedici.com uh, forward slash workshops. You'll see everything listed there. There's also an option to sign up for private lessons and, or private critiques, which is great. Any, yeah. any, any last words of inspiration before we jump off? So please subscribe to my YouTube channel, right? Um, so yeah. subscribe to Dominique Medici on YouTube channel. That's really important for getting um, the algorithms to work. We all have yeah. to do that now. So it's really helpful to subscribe to her YouTube channel. And um, yeah, this is really fun. We're going to do this okay. more, I hope. This is yeah, so so Grace and I are cooking up all sorts of ideas. Thank you guys all so much. Oh my gosh, this has been so fun. Everybody yeah. else tuned in. We really appreciate it. We send you virtual hugs. Um, yep. Yes, uh, and we hope that you're all doing okay right now. And um, yeah, that we can make art with you sometime. So check out Dominique's uh, website and hats off to you again, because this is an incredible, incredible project. Yeah, so, Grace, thank you so much for, in, for doing this and check out Grace as well on- On my Instagram and website, it's right here, Grace Athena Art. Great. See you next time. Awesome. Thanks so much, Grace. Bye. Bye. Bye, all.